the whole conversation of Jordan versus LeBron right now. What what is for for those who were basically sit here and say LeBron's the greatest of all time and 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 what he's doing in his generation is what's the one Jordan story you would tell about his competitive spirit and championship quality that you saw in person to to I guess uh, level the generational playing field here. The toughness of uh, Michael Jordan, aside from his skills, uh, is what what stands out. And the game that stands out to me is one we did at NBC was the flu game, where in Utah, where people uh, we knew about it uh, before the game, so we were it was you know able to be weaved into the storyline. People in the stands did not realize even when he was during timeouts, helped to the sideline by teammates. I remember Pippen and others carrying him to the sideline, and he had a sensational game, and you could see how exhausted, dehydrated he was, and uh, they you know, went on, led by Michael, uh, to uh, defeat uh, the Jazz. That, that to me, uh, uh, personifies, in terms of his, his toughness, uh, the other thing that strikes me, he always, and I know LeBron is like this too, kind of needs something motivational, but Michael was, uh, you know, took it to the next level. He could be annoyed by a woman sitting courtside at, in Cleveland who might have, you know, just said something innocently. And then every time he'd score, he'd look, you know, there'd be no bad language, but he'd look over at her and uh, kind of give her the business anything would motivate him and um he had this incredible uh, will to win which i know is easy to say because every player says they have this incredible will to win but there was nothing like that and you know it's hard to compare the two because they played it in the in different eras with different rules i think if michael played today his numbers would be even higher because you don't have the hand checking and you don't have the physical play on uh, you know an everyday basis. Uh, so it, it's tough to compare them. I know they took six championships to three and all, all that stuff, but there's something about uh, you know, the makeup of Jordan and how much every game meant to him. Not that it doesn't to LeBron. That. Uh, I still think there's a slight edge to Jordan, even though Le- what LeBron is doing now, particularly at his age and playing the kind of minutes he's playing, is just, uh, it's incredible. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern, on Audience.